Here's a quick step-by-step -step guide to setting up your new VPS to be able to start publishing websites. First you'll go to https colon forward slash forward slash your IP address colon 2087 and that'll bring you right into the WHM panel login screen. And you'll log in with root and the provided password. First we'll have to do the initial setup. So we'll agree to the terms put an email address where they can contact you this is the email address that all the system will send notifications to the host name of the server this is very important here these are your primary resolvers your DNS resolvers so if you're going to be running DNS on the machine I always want your primary resolver to be 127001. Uh, then use your hosting provider's DNS server IPs for the secondary and third resolvers. And set up your main network device. Uh, in our case, we just have the one. And then go to step three. All right, once the host name is changed and everything's set up, um, if you have additional IP addresses to add to the machine, you'd add them in here. We just have the one main IP, so we'll go on to step four. Step four is setting up <clears throat> your, your services. So we're going to use bind for DNS. Then we're going to set our name servers, and since we're going to run our own name servers on the server, we'll use our host name our name servers and when you do this make sure that you register these name servers with your domain provider otherwise they will not resolve we want to add a entry for the name servers and add an a entry for the host name now, they may already be done, but I just do it just to make sure. Now that the name servers and DNS is installed and configured, the next step is setting up FTP. So you can pick one of two FTP programs. Uh, we just leave it on the default. Uh, CP Hulk for brute force protection, I just leave that on default and install common sets of Perl modules. Uh, if you're going to be using Perl, you can add that in there, it doesn't hurt, so we can check that and go to step six. Quotas. Uh, what WHM allows you to do is set up disk quotas for accounts. Um, now this has to be set up beforehand before you start setting disk quotas up for different accounts. So if you're going to use file system quotas, enable it here. If you're not, you can disable it. We'll use file system quotas. So we'll go ahead and finish setting up. And then it'll have their featured showcase. You can just hit save. And it logs us into our main panel. Now what we need to do is go to server configuration, basic cPanel and WHM setup. Again, some of this we've already filled out when we did the initial server setup. Uh, so contact information, it's already there. If you want to add additionals, you can. The IP, you will have to put your IP in here. Leave that as default. Home directories where you want them located, I leave them as default. Uh, the WHM <coughs> theme, leave as paper lantern. Uh, the default webmail theme, leave as paper, man paper lantern. 
yes for CG I bin script aliases and leave the timeouts and time to lives uh, default and same with the log file name servers are already set so what we want to do is click assign IP address and it went ahead and assigned our main IP to the name server and on the second name server do the same and then save changes now you're ready to create your first account so we'll go home and uh, up in the search what we'll do is hit uh, here we go create a new account and you're going to put your the domain it'll generate a username now set a password okay and then an email address for the domain is where notifications will go so we'll do all right now we come down to package since this is the first one we've created there will be no we don't have a package so you want to select options manually now it'll give you the option to save the manual settings as a package so if you're going to add other accounts with the same feature set you can just go in and once you do that go in and choose the package and hit go and it'll do it for you so we're not going to save this this package this is the only one we're going to have on here so disk space this is where the quotas come in um, we'll leave this as unlimited bandwidth unlimited FTP accounts email accounts mail lists SQL databases and subdomains is unlimited uh, max park domains we'll leave at zero add-on domains we will make unlimited uh, unlimited email per hour and we'll have unlimited failed messages per domain settings uh, we can't do dedicated IP because I only have one IP we will, we will give the account shell access and CGI access and the cPanel theme we're gonna leave is paper lantern you have the option of making this a reseller account so if you want this account to be able to create other accounts check this make account a reseller for DNS settings we want to enable DKI, DKIM and enable SPF on this account and for mail we're gonna have use this as a local mail exchanger and hit create And there we go our account has been created so now we can go to account information from the main page list accounts and see our new accounts created here and from here we can just click on cPanel and we're now logged into the cPanel for this domain and to begin uploading your files just go to file manager www and put your web files in here and that's how you get started with a brand new VPS with WHM